Greetings to you, dear pupils and parents. It's a wonderful experience working with you through this medium. We call on you to be attentive and follow this lesson keenly so that you can understand and do your exercises at the end. Have a nice time learning. We will be right back. Good morning, class. My name is Madame Edith, and I'm here to present a lesson on environmental education for class one. Now, what do I expect you to achieve at the end of this lesson? At the end of the lesson, I expect you to define water and name some sources of water. Now, before you came to school today, you took your bath. Now, what did you use in taking your bath? Is it petrol? Is it oil? What did you use? Water. You use water. Now, where did your mom got the water? From the tap. Now, our lesson of today is water and its sources. Now, what is water? Water is a clear liquid that has no color, no taste, no smell. Okay, we are going to look, we are going to see our cardboard and we are going to tell you what you can find on the cardboard. Now, what do we have here? What can you see on the cardboard? Tap. Good. You can see tap. What can you also see on the cardboard? Well. Good. You can also see well. What again can you see on the cardboard? River. Good. Now, after looking at all this, what is the general meaning that you can give to all of this? Good. We can call we can call them sources. Now, what are sources? We say sources are the various ways we can get water. Sources are the various ways we can get water. Now, apart from tap, well, river, spring. What are some other sources of water? River, good. Ocean, good. Now, amongst all these sources, which one is found around you? Tap, good. Tap, which, which again is found around you? Well, good, well. Now we are going to look at water and its sources. Or smell. 
Now we are going to look at sources of water. Now we are going to look at sources of water. So the first source is we have tap. All again do we have well. Yes, what do we have next? We have spring. In bracket, we say it is the best source. And the place, we say we have river. Next we have is, is rain. And next what we have? Sea. We are going to end them. We cannot name all of them. Now, after looking at all the sources of water, some of them are good and some of them are not. Let's take for example, tap. Tap is the source that is mostly found around us. If you look in your environment, you will see tap. And where again can you also see tap? Good. In our school campus, we can also see tap. Okay. Now, we have the next, which is well. Well is also good for drinking when it is well collected. And we also have spring, which we say spring is the best source of water because it is gotten from the ground. Now let's look at sea. Can you drink sea water? No. You cannot drink seawater because it is salty. Remember from our definition, we say water is a clear liquid that has no color, no taste, no smell. No taste, remember, because sea is tasty. It has a salty taste. That means sea is not good for drinking. Now, Below, we are going to have some exercises that we are going to do. Good. Yes, I can just take it from there. Yeah. Okay, our next source we have rain. Rain comes from the sky. And rain can also be good for drinking when it is well collected. Now, those are some sources of water. The first one is tap. We have well, we have spring, which is the best source, we have river, we have rain, and sea. Now, below are some exercises that you are going to do. You are going to answer the questions you will underline 
the correct answers. Now, question one says, dash is a clear liquid that has no color, taste, or smell. We have two answers in brackets. The first answer is water, and the second answer is petrol. Now, you are going to underline the correct answer. Now our question 2 says, the best source of water is, yeah, again, we have two answers in brackets. We have the first answer, spring, and the second answer, sea. You are going to underline the correct answer. Okay, thanks for being here. See you in our next class. Hello dear pupils and parents, thank you for following the lesson till the end and we hope you enjoyed it. For your questions and exercises, write them down and send to us through the email info at teachconnect.org. The teacher will answer your questions, correct your exercises and send them back to you. Thank you for working with us.